Hey everyone, recently Indian government has made an announcement that negatively impacted Praj industry share price along with all the sugar stocks. Praj share price has witnessed a sharp correction of around 15-16% in last two days. Now if you are following this channel, you would know that I am bullish on growth prospect of Praj industries. Last time I covered it when it was trading at levels of around 400 a few months ago. And it's also part of my Diwali 2023 picks. So the question here is, what is that government announcement? And what is the impact of this announcement on Praj Industries? Because once you understand this impact, you would get a better picture in terms of what to do with Praj shares. If you are an existing shareholder, the question is, should you consider buying more or should you wait? Or if you are a new investor, can this be an opportunity to consider buying Praj shares? So in this video, I'll try to decode the Indian government announcement and try to answer question around what can be done with Praj shares. But before that, this video is not a buyer sell call. It is only for educational purpose. You must do your own research before making any investment decision. All right, let's get started. So first of all, let me highlight the government announcement. Basically, Ministry of Consumer Affairs has directed all sugar mills and distilleries not to use sugarcane juice or syrup for ethanol in FI 23-24 with immediate effect. All the supply of ethanol from B heavy molasses will continue. Clearly, Indian government has directed sugar mills to stop manufacturing ethanol with sugarcane with immediate effect. It seems due to erratic monsoon this year, sugarcane production was on lower side and hence government want to focus on sugar production. Now, first of all, please note that this is a temporary pause on ethanol manufacturing for this current financial year. We are already in December month and just three, four months to go. Indian government has long term target to blend ethanol with petrol and diesel up to 20% by 2025 and currently this blend is around 10%. Then second point is that only ethanol production from sugarcane is stopped. Ethanol is also produced from rice, maize, etc. However, sugarcane has the highest contribution in ethanol production. Nearly 80-85% of ethanol is produced from sugarcane. So ban on sugarcane to produce ethanol will have a positive impact on companies that use grains like maize to produce ethanol. Having said this, there will certainly be a negative impact of this announcement on sugar companies and since Praj is the largest manufacturer of plants and machinery required for ethanol production, it will also be impacted to an extent. How much would be the impact? Well, it's difficult to quantify at this point. The best response can only be provided by Praj management. But all I know is that this is a temporary thing. It doesn't change the fundamentals and growth prospect of Praj industries. In fact, I was just going through the latest Q2 numbers and management con call and came across some interesting data points and insight. I'm sure this would help you make an informed decision in terms of what to do with Praj Industries. So first of all, it is not that entire Praj Industries business come from ethanol plant setup. Praj Industries present in three business vertical, bioenergy, then high purity solution and third is engineering business. Within Bioenergy, Praj Industries pioneer in India with more than 50% market share in domestic ethanol plant installation business and among the top players in the world. Now this Bioenergy has got four sub offerings. First is 1G bioethanol plant that include ethanol production from sugar based feedstock as well as starch based feedstock like your corn, rice and wheat. Second is your 2G bioethanol plant where ethanol is produced from agri residues like your rice and wheat straw, then canned trash, etc. Then third segment is your compressed biogas technology where Praj has set up manufacturing plant for clients to produce compressed biogas. And fourth is future biofuel, where Praj has been working on innovative technology for future biofuels, where recently it built technology to produce sustainable aviation fuel using bio-based feedstock. Now, please note that the circular from government would only impact the first business segment of Praj within biofuel segment where it set up plants for ethanol extraction from sugar based feedstock. Within that segment also, ethanol can be produced from starch based feedstock like your corn, rice and wheat. Remaining business of the company would not be impacted. Now, biofuel contributed the most in Praj business with around 74% revenue contribution. But within that, we don't have the breakup of those four sub segment where one of their segment would be impacted from government announcement. Please note that around 26% revenue of the company comes from non-bioenergy and company's target is to increase that to 38% in the future. Moreover, Praj also generate business from export. So in FI23, around 18% of the revenue has come from international business and company is targeting 50% revenue 
from international business in the future. So like I said before, only a particular segment of company's business would be impacted from this government announcement and not the entire business. Although we don't have the detail of the impact, only management can guide us to quantify the impact. However, the brighter picture is that Praj is involved in a lot of other things apart from setting up plants for ethanol production from sugarcane. By the way, in case you are not aware, I also have a closed community of investors where I share one exclusive video per week on weekly series available on my website. In this, I share the latest government announcement, key events, key trends and their impact on stocks. Then I share my own investment strategy, stocks I am buying in my portfolio and so on. If you want to explore the detail, I provided the link in the description. Now as far as future of Praj Industries is concerned, I think it is very bright. For instance, we discussed earlier that Indian government has set up a target to blend ethanol with petrol and diesel up to 20% by 2025 and currently this blend is around 10%. So this is going to be a big growth driver for the company. Then recently there was Global Biofuel Alliance at G20 Summit in September 23 anchored by India and 19 countries have agreed to be a part of it. This alliance is committed to create an ecosystem to support biofuel production. This is again a major positive development for Praj and the entire industry. Praj has recently set up a new subsidiary, Praj Gen X, that would focus on key areas of sustainability around decarbonization, water and wastewater industry, waste to energy, fertilizer industry and so on. I was going through the con call where management has highlighted that there is a clear push globally for setting under energy transaction for green hydrogen, green ammonia, waste to energy projects being set up very exclusively. And that's the segment that Gen X business will serve. So that is again a very bright growth area for the company. Praj has a very strong leadership led by Dr. Pramod Chaudhary who is the founder and chairman. Then Mr. Sishir Joshipura is the CEO and MD of the company. I don't want to get into the detail as I've already discussed everything in my previous video. In case you want to understand their business, please watch this video. Now as far as share price is concerned, it is normal to see selling pressure when you have a negative event and you don't know the impact of that event. That's how traders trade. Any negative news and their first reaction is sell. But I'm sure the moment there will be clarity in terms of the exact impact of the government announcement in terms of numbers, market would see whether this negative news has been priced in into the share or not. And accordingly, share price would react. Although generally speaking, the first reaction of the market on negative news is generally irrational. And that's what creates opportunities for long-term investor, isn't it? Having said this, I think it's too early to comment that Praj has now corrected 15-16% to current price of around 530. So whether this is a good opportunity to buy the share or not. Personally, I would like the dust to settle down. Let there be more clarity. Although in terms of valuation, Praj is trading at a PE of 36, which is decent. But another 5-10-15% correction would make it even more attractive at levels of say around 450 to 500. Another reason I could find for sharp decline in Praj share price is due to higher participation of retail investor. As per latest shareholding, around 39% stake of the company are with public and that is one major reason why its share price is volatile. Although in the last few quarters, public holding has reduced from highs of 46.9% to now at 39%. And FI holding is up from 13.8% to 17.9%. It also includes names like Goldman Sachs and Government Pension Fund Global. Even DI holding has increased consistently in the last three quarters from 7.6% to now at 10.2%. Promoter holding is more or less same in the last three years, although on the lower side. So overall, if I conclude, I don't see a major challenge with the government announcement. First of all, this ban on ethanol production from sugarcane is temporary. Government still has a target of 20% ethanol mix in petrol diesel by 2025. Secondly, Praj has a diverse business and plant set up to extract ethanol from sugarcane forms only a specific part of its business. Although we don't know the exact quantum of this business. In case there's an update by management on the impact, I'll keep you posted. Having said this, the future prospects are still intact. If you are an existing investor, then there is no need to panic. In fact, if this selling pressure persists in the near term, I think it would only create buying opportunities. It's just that I would like the share price to stabilize in the next few days before making a call on accumulation. Stock has already corrected around 15-16% and another 5-10-15% correction from current level will make Praj very very attractive. So this is it for this video. Let me know in the comment what do you think about it. Are you holding Praj in your portfolio? If yes, what is your strategy? And let me know which company you want me to cover next. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.